What's up, Wenatchee third grade? <laughs> hello, hello. It's me again, Miss Jen from Cascade Fisheries, back with another salmon adventure for you. Today, we're gonna go pick up our salmon eggs from the hatchery. Ready, Salmon Squad? Let's roll out. Leaving from Cascade Fisheries headquarters in downtown Wenatchee, the first stop we're gonna make is the confluence of the Wenatchee River and the Columbia River. This is where our coho friends coming back from the ocean hook that hard left and start heading up towards Leavenworth. Now we're gonna pass by Riverside Park in Kashmir. This was where we released the salmon last year. Even on the Wenatchee River, there's still some challenges ahead of our salmon friends. Waterfront Park in Leavenworth is one of my favorite places to go check out spawning salmon. Almost there! Now we're going to go to the confluence of the Wenatchee River and Icicle Creek. Hook it left again, Salmon. You're almost there. Come on, I gotta go to the hatchery. Hurry up. We gotta pick up some eggs. Just around the block, Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery. So this is my favorite place to come to the hatchery to look for bugs and to look for birds and to look for spawning salmon. And so before I go and pick up our eggs for our salmon tank, I figured I'd come out here and see if there were any coho salmon spawning in the wild and get a look underwater. How about that? Let's go find some salmon.
So I'm here at the Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery, freezing and ready to pick up some salmon eggs. First, it's important that we understand the history behind our fish. For thousands of years up to today, indigenous people who originally lived along the Wenatchee River had a balanced, respectful, and spiritual relationship with salmon. Over time, their lands were taken from them and the balance was lost. Eventually, dams, too much fishing, and loss of habitat caused coho salmon to disappear from our rivers for about a hundred years. Now, Yakima Nation fisheries at the hatchery are bringing coho back to the Wenatchee River. For the last 20 years, these salmon have been returning and each year our friends at the hatchery gather their eggs and milk to keep the program running. Some fish are even left to spawn in the wild, an amazing event since it wasn't long ago that they were totally gone. The tribe has been working really hard to bring back coho salmon and so to help them out and to help us out have fun exploring um, salmon, they're going to be giving us 200 coho salmon eggs to raise in our schools and that you'll be watching grow up um, between now and May. So I'm going to pick up the eggs today and quickly drive them back down to Wenatchee and put them in the tank before they get too warm. Let's go get some eggs. We will have what's known as green eggs. These are eggs that have just been fertilized within the last couple weeks. Over time, you'll watch them develop and grow and hatch into little Alvin. All packed up and ready to go. This year you'll be able to watch your salmon from home. Pretty soon we'll get together again and work on what I like to call wizard math. This will let us know when the eggs are going to hatch. Bye for now, Salmon Squad.